to another episode of Chork Monkeys. I'm your host, Oshi Ren. This is the channel you come to see top stories, news, gossip, entertainment, gaming, social media, music, and movies. We cover everything. On today's episode, I present to you 10 things you need to know before you come see the Raiders in Las Vegas. Number 1. Located adjacent to the world-famous Las Vegas Strip, Allegiant Stadium is a global events destination. Highlighted by the arrival of the NFL's iconic Raiders in 2020, Allegiant Stadium is conveniently located for both visitors and locals, fully enclosed and climate controlled with a capacity of 65,000. The technologically advanced stadium is the home of the Las Vegas Raiders NFL team and will host world-class entertainment including concerts and special sporting events such as the Pac-12 Championship Game and Las Vegas Bowl. Allegiant Stadium also serves as the home of the UNLV football. The stadium project is expected to generate an economic benefit of $620 million annually while creating 6,000 permanent jobs in Southern Nevada. Number 2 Expect the football tickets and rooms to be expensive. Hotel rates have jumped dramatically during the football season. You can expect at least a $200 increase to the basic rooms. The three package deals provided by MGM Resort start at $1,649, $2,509, or $3,734 per person. And on top of that, you must purchase for two guests. The price varies on the location of the seats at the game. Number 3. The Las Vegas Raiders will no longer require proof of COVID-19 vaccinations or masks for home games at Allegiant Stadium. This information was updated on May 4, 2022. Feel free to wear a mask at your own preference. Number 4. Parking is horrible. Not enough parking stalls at the stadium. Plan your trip in advance to ensure getting to and from Allegiant Stadium is part of the game day fun. The best option for accessing Allegiant Stadium is from Las Vegas Boulevard via Hacienda Bridge, which will be close to automobile traffic on game and selected event days, allowing fans to safely walk across. Take Uber or other rideshare options or taxi from home or other strip locations to one of the two east rideshare lots. Number 5. Bags must be clear plastic, vinyl, or PVC and must not exceed 12 by 6 by 12. Small clutch bags can be taken into the stadium. An exception will be made for any necessary medical items, but all such items are subject to inspection prior to entry into Allegiant Stadium. Now is a great time to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you know when a new episode hits the air. Please comment on content that you, the viewer, would love to see. Number six, being drunk will not be tolerated here in Las Vegas. Alcohol is not permitted to enter or leave the facility. Any guests who exhibit visible signs of impairment will not be permitted into Allegiant Stadium. All guests appearing 30 years or younger will be required to show proof of age for alcohol purchases. Number 7. Tailgating is allowed with restrictions. The parking lot opens 4 hours before game time. During those hours, you can tailgate in parking stalls. Tailgating is strictly prohibited at the start, during, and after the event. All Allegiant Stadium parking lots will be cleared 1 hour after the conclusion of the event. Number 8. Scalping tickets does happen here in Las Vegas. I do not recommend purchasing football tickets from any scalper. If an opportunity is too good to be true, most likely it is. The resale of tickets at Allegiant Stadium grounds is prohibited and may result in the loss of ticket privileges and or prosecution to the fullest extent of the law. Number 9. No smoking is allowed. 
In accordance with the Nevada Clean Air Indoor Act, Allegiant Stadium is a smoke-free facility. This includes the use of vaporizers and e-cigarettes. Designated smoking areas are located outside of the stadium. Number 10. Slated for February 11, 2024, the Super Bowl will take place at the recently opened Allegiant Stadium and marks the first time Las Vegas and the state of Nevada will welcome the Super Bowl. As long as you know what to expect at a game, the more you will have fun and a memorable experience. Those are the 10 things you should know before you come see the Raiders. Now that concludes today's episode. I look forward to reading all of your comments. Till next time, and remember, once a chork monkey, always a chork monkey.